educational video. It's about sticking today. Similar photos uh, with different kind of areas of details on each other to combine it together to get more detail everywhere. In this case, uh, detail in the mushrooms and details in the square. You see, in this case, it's beautiful focused on the squirrel, but no focus on the mushrooms. And I want, in this case, I want to have both. I select both, um, right click on the mouse, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So when I'm in Photoshop, I have these two photos. With different focuses. I select them both. I go to edit to auto align layers, auto automatic, and he's aligning it. Then you see the squirrel moved a little bit. The mushroom is exactly the same, but the squirrel. So normally in landscape, often you can uh, select both go to edit and auto blend layers and then you uh, go to here you can choose seamless tones and colors and content awareness and you click ok in this case you cannot use that because it will look like this the order the movement of the squirrel it it appears in the other squirrels and <laughs> the other parts so it's it's stupid to see but you see the idea the focus on the mushroom as well as the squirrel. That's and here in the uh, flowers. That's the idea. So I have to do it manual. Uh, so I go back to the two layers. I already have uh, um, them here, two layers. I aligned it already. I click on this and I get a white paper so still the first is visible but with a layer i choose black brush a soft brush and i make a little bit bigger and what i do i disappear let it disappear by using a black brush and then the other photo the who's in the back will be visible the parts you see then you get the details now you have to do it more carefully it takes some time but i just show it a little bit quicker and so if you have done it and then you have both have flowers a little bit back a bit more details you have to do it more carefully um, um, with a zoom, maybe with 400, 300. Not the way I do it, but yeah, you've got the idea. So when you have the, done this, then only things are left is a little bit to take the nuts away, to clean it up. And uh, if you are ready, then it's visible like here. So. Why do you do this? It's, it's a choice because the focus now maybe goes very quickly to the mushroom and uh, later on the, the squirrel. So I don't know how people look, but I think the first look is still on, on the squirrel. That's the main purpose why things are blurry, to get the viewer directly to, to the main target. And, and the squirrel is almost always the target. So that has to be in detail but in this case it creates more interesting things because the the the, the texture in the mushroom is amazing it's so it's a wonderful thing and my idea from the beginning was that i wanted to have the sharp um, uh, mushroom and a sharp uh, squirrel that was my fishing from the start because i shoot from three meters uh, it's the big chance is that one millimeter off or five millimeters off, then things already get very blurry. 
Um, maybe if I shoot from five meters farther away, I get everything sharp, but that's not my position I have. So what I did, I uh, first shot, I focused on the squirrel, then the second shot I focused on the mushroom. And it's maybe it's a half second uh, delay or maybe less. When the squirrel is in, staying in position, not too much movement, then this kind of things is very, very good and possible to do. Thank you for watching and uh, till next time.